one of Newton's greatest achievements was figuring out this formula. This is a formula that uh, calculates how much gravity there is between objects. All objects have gravity. Um, he was interested in mostly, you know, what's the gravitational force between, let's say, the sun and the earth, and how does that explain the motion of the earth around the sun or any planet. But the formula basically says all objects in the universe are attracted to all objects in the universe. There's gravity between this boy sitting on a park bench and this girl sitting on a park bench. And because of Newton's third law, if the gravity of the boy, if you calculate it, that's the gravity that the boy is pulling on the girl, which because of Newton's third law is equal and opposite to the, the amount of gravity that the girl is pulling on the boy. So you calculate this, this is the force between the two, okay? The formula is the force of gravity is G, that's the uh, universal gravitational constant, and it's 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, uh, times either the first, well times both masses, it doesn't matter which one you call M1 or M2, okay? and divided by the distance squared. So according to this rule, uh, as things move further apart, the force of gravity decreases by the square of the distance. Okay, so let's just do a simple problem. I've got two people here, a boy and a girl, sitting on a park bench. The boy's 65 kilograms, the girl's 50 kilograms. How attracted to each other are they? The distance between them is 120 centimeters. So our formula, Fg, is equal to gmm over d squared. I'm going to call the boy mass 1 and the girl mass 2. So I got uh, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 times the mass of the boy, 65, times the mass of the girl, 50, divided by the distance between them squared. But this has got to be in meters, not centimeters. So I change it to 1.2, and there's a square in there. So the force of gravity that the boy pulls on the girl, or the girl pulls on the boy, is equal to, we calculate that, 1.5 times 10 to the minus 7 newtons. There's not a lot of gravity between these two. Well, that makes sense, because if you put two objects near each other, you don't expect them to come crashing into each other. So it's a very small number. Gravity is not a very strong force. It takes the whole Earth mass just to pull you towards it with the amount that it does. So an object as small as this boy is not going to be, well, this boy is not very attractive. I mean, what else can I say? Okay, let's try doing this, but instead of using numbers, use ratios. So we're going to go to the next one and see what happens if we don't have any numbers.